So here we have a subtraction of rational expressions that don't have factored denominators. So first we have to factor these two denominators to enable us to make common denominators to perform the subtraction. So first I'm going to rewrite this left hand side with a factored denominator. That's going to be x over x minus 1, x plus 1, because x squared minus 1 is a difference of 2 squares. So now I'll have a look at the right hand side. I'll leave the negative 2x up the top, and I'm going to look for factors that produce negative 2 that add up to positive 1. So that's going to be x plus 2 and x minus 1. Now you could use the cross multiplication method here and simply multiply the opposite numerator by both denominators in each case. However, because the x minus 1 already exists, you're going to end up cancelling it out anyway. So I'm going to take a slightly different approach. So on the left hand side here, the denominator does not have an x plus 2 in it. So I'm going to multiply this side by x plus 2. 2. On the right hand side, my denominator doesn't have the x plus 1 in it, so I'm going to multiply this side by x plus 1. So what I end up with is x times x plus 2 minus 2x times x plus 1 all over x minus 1, x plus 1, and x plus 1. 2. So I'm going to distribute each bracket. So I end up with x squared plus 2x minus 2x squared minus 2x all over x minus 1, x plus 1, x plus 2. Now I'm going to combine my like terms x squared minus 2x squared is negative x squared. And 2x minus 2x, well that's just 0, they cancel out. All over x minus 1, x plus 1, x plus 2. And that is our final answer.